Hello, welcome to Hold My Digivice. My name is Holden, and we're running the Digivice version 15th and the D3 version 15th. I am really close to the next boss level on these guys here. Let me try and get the camera a little bit more. There we go, that's better. So if we look on Agumon, we've got 30 steps left. And we got Agumon and Gabumon with both of them at the champion level. Let's go ahead and get our boss encounter. I've noticed the pedometer is not as accurate on this device as I would argue it is on the D3, but that is okay. We got Devamon. Okay, let's, oh, let's not do that. Let's Digivolve. Oh, that is so cool. I haven't seen the Digivolve effect yet. That's so cool. So you gotta mash this button. The attack animations are really brilliant. I really like that. Touch. Oh man, yeah, we're gonna just completely destroy this guy. Nice. One more hit and we win. Very cool. So we used one against the second boss, which was Devamon. Very cool. Very cool. So it looks like we beat that map level. Let's go look at the D3. Can I get there? We also have 20 steps on this. I know for a fact the D3 uses an accelerometer. Yeah, so it doesn't take nearly as many shakes. Um, I can't really tell what that is. It, oh, that's oh, that's Skull Greymon. That's awesome. So I don't know if I showed you guys this last time, but we totally have the Golden Digi Egg. So we're going to use that. So we need a shake to get a good roll, like off a pendulum. 25 is a sweet spot. We got 14. Darn. Uh-oh. He's a dodging. Okay, we are too. Wow, one hit wonder. Awesome. I'll take that. There we go. Two bosses down on each device. And yeah, that's our update on the first 15th. I want to do a video kind of talk about my hopes and wishes for the newest leaked uh, device series we're going to get. So those who don't know, it was, I think, in a, in a V-Jump magazine. They leaked the image, and they call it, like, the Digimon Z series or Digimon Z Um and they give silhouette of two V-pets. The silhouettes look like pendulums from the silhouette. We are no idea what the storyline is going to be on them. We have no idea what, you know, the, the art style will be or the theme. I have no idea. But I'm really, really hoping. Um, these are my hopes, I guess I should say. Let's start with that. These are my hopes and dreams for that device. My first one is I really hope it takes a note from the pendulum progress and gives us larger sprites. Sprites like off the version 15 devices. These nice, very full sprites. Or even off of, you know, we've ran on the channel. We've ran the Excel. Those are nice, big sprites. We've seen it with the Pendulum Progress. I hope the Z-Series will do the same thing. My other hope is I don't think we're going to get backlit or, or colored pixels yet, um, but I am hoping that we have some kind of bonus to keep us going. Like what's there's going to be some kind of gimmick. For the DMXs, you know, we had the gimmick of a level system and um, having one egg but a ridiculously huge egg with lots of different Digimon on it. And these were really fun. I liked I liked these quite a bit. These were good devices. 
for what they were. But I'm really I, I'm kind of done with um, Digimon X content, so I'm really hoping it doesn't borrow too heavily from that. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not going to condemn the idea just yet if they end up going that route. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Obviously, I would love if they start taking more serious with the pixels and coloring stuff like they would with the Tamagotchi line. Or are they getting, you know, still a pixel art, but in this cool colored pixel art um, with a dynamic screen. I really wish Digimon would kind of move that direction. And that's something I've kind of moved on. I used to like just the monochrome uh, pixels. And to a degree, I still do. Um, but I, I, would, I wouldn't mind having a bit more. You know, there's nothing wrong exactly in that. Um, but yeah, they definitely look like pendulums and I'm really hoping we get larger pixels. That's my, really my big wish, honestly. Um, because I think honestly, we have bigger pixels. It's easier to tell what the creatures are and it's easier to get people into Digimon. These are really nice for the price range. These, uh, DMXs and the pendulum 20th, if they ever make them in English will also be good ways to get people into it. But you know, one of the, the critiques I've heard for people is it's, it's hard to make a relational <laughs> or feel like you have a relational attachment to a blob on a screen. And so I'm really hoping we get better pixel art in that so we can have more of a holistic experience with device. But I don't know. We might, we might not. Who knows? It's it's still far off. And a lot of people are, are speculating that we'll get pre-orders open after the Digivice colon comes out. Um, that's actually coming out. I think it's going to start pre-ordering in June. So actually, like a couple days, guys, we're going to have pre-orders for that. Um, I put on pre-ordering it. I've been budgeting for it in advance. Um, that is going to happen. I'm going to find a way, whether it's Japan you want or Premium Bandai, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to have a pre-order of that that device because I think it's going to be super, super cool. And I think it will be definitely worth to grab. If you're a fan of the version 15th line, it looks like, I want to emphasize, it looks like this is going to be a similar or greater quality. We have not got confirmation on the new device, or whether or not it can connect to the older devices or not, but I'm going to assume that they can. Um, otherwise, they'd be kind of silly with their DMX line that's been doing really well and the Pendulum line that did well back, I think it was in 2018, they started doing that in 2019. So I'm really hoping that all things considered, it'll have connectability. But this channel will try and keep up with the times and try to keep up with the new uh, device, um, with the new device releases. And yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Um, appreciate you guys listening and hope to see you later. Bye.